Hey, my Brookfields here. Um, thought I'd run a try a, a little series alongside coffee chops. We'll keep the coffee chops going, um, but alongside that, I'd like to uh, uh, try this little series where um, I'm a big fan of uh, educational material, books, and that. And there's a few key ones that have really helped me over the years. So I just want to share uh, this with you. Um, in the late '90s, when I was touring a lot, I used to use this for reading practice. Single note soloing uh, by Ted Green. Classic, uh, there's two of them. There's that and there's that. <laughs> Volume one and two, you can see the little pencil marking of the date The you know, the third of the second 99. So on the third of February, 1999, that's what I was kind of practicing. And I do like a page or two a day and it was really just sight reading, uh, trying to get my reading chops up. Um, you know, I can't say I fully understood and really took my time with the book. I pretty went through the books pretty quick, you know what I mean? So um, these books could last you a lifetime. There's so much fun stuff in there, you know. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, uh, I'll photocopy this page and I'll put it up on my Patreon so you can download uh, the music and work along with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly uh, pick a lick out of this book. I, I just picked one uh, just before this video. So I'm going to be, you know, practicing it and uh, you practice along i'll try and do it slow my hopefully I, hopefully I don't go too fast but it's like you know it's a, just a bite-sized kind of like sample of what you get out of these books um and then what i might do is jump around i might do a ne another book next week uh and there's there's so many great books that I've, I've picked up over the years literally have hundreds of them and it's it's really nice to to make a portion of your playing uh uh, part of, of you know something uh, that's written by an experienced player and a really good uh, book because um, you know then it, it complements maybe your transcriber and a very Clapton solos or BB King or something so you can be working on your feel from trying to play like BB King or Clapton and then maybe just understanding the guitar neck and you know so w working out books sometimes you have something really solid to practice and play like a piece or uh, you know some kind of licks so anyway let's check this out if you go and get the uh, the pdf there for free on my patreon um you know okay so uh, when you this is the third lick down on this page i'll photocopy copy the whole page and put it up uh, but the third line down uh, you know when i see b flat on a jazz chart you know that's b flat in rock and roll but you're more likely to play a major seven or a six nine chord so major seven has root seven third and the fifth or frets it's like six seven seven six or six nine you'd go like there's the roots there's the six there's the nine and there's the fifth and frets wise it's six five five six nothing on the fifth or first string so when you're playing jazz you know You know, that's B flat. It's not, you know, that's too a heavy, uh, dense sound. And it's got a lighter feel to it. So there's your, there's your one chord, your six nine. So these two licks we're gonna go through here are based on uh, a B flat with a ninth added. So, uh, so let's check out this first one. So he starts on the off beat, it goes, yeah, so a lot of the little finger action here will strengthen up your uh, both hands, both of your picking, uh, because there's a arpeggio element to it, and then you know strengthen up this these fingers on your hands. So you know, I'll play a little. slow we analyze what he's doing is on the off beat so he's on the nine and then when he's on the down beat he plays the root and then back to the nine and on the down beat he's got the third and then the fifth and then the root and then the ninth on the off beat 
So it's all chord tones apart from using the ninth and he's making sure that's on the off beat and all the chord tones are on the down beat. So, so that second bar is third, fifth, third, nine on the off beat, uh, root, uh, and then fifth. So, so I'd be practicing that slow and then maybe I'd try and, you know, take it up. So it, maybe it was like on a, you know, more up. And now the faster I play, the lighter I have to kind of pick because the more you dig in, the more it tenses up and it doesn't sound smooth. So... Now, you know, to develop that lick, then what I'd probably do is play it in C, try and work out a way of playing it in F and then take it round the cycle of five. So I'll kind of do that here. I mean, like, um, this is a suggestion, but not essential. It depends on where you're at with your, with your development. So, uh. That's in C, and then I can probably work it out on the fly. There's an F, so it's kind of similar. I'm just using my knowledge of intervals to be able to transpose it to F. So then I can do it in B flat again. Nice little boppy lick. Uh, let's check out the next one on that that line. So back to the chord of B flat, and it starts on the he's starting on the nine this time, and then he's got a triplet arpeggio. So he's going. So the intervals are quite wide there, which makes the picking tricky. And again, you know, you're having to use all four fingers, so it's a good exercise. Try and put it on a groove. So it's nice that, isn't it? You know, um, can I do it on C? Just move it up. If I tried to transpose it in F, yeah, I can just about work that out, and that's like an F six nine. I'm playing there, an F major seven. So then I could prep, you know, practice it on the cycle of five. a note but hey this is uh guided practice there's no editing on this video and then c to end so they're pretty good you know really nice kind of licks you know and if you analyze them you know, he's, it's nearly all chord tones, except he's just added in the ninth. And um, it just goes to show it's pretty simple, isn't it? It's not that complex, you know what I mean? You've got the root, third, fifth, and seventh. And then he's added in the second, which is the same note as the, the ninth. And uh, But the way that you place them, in that last one, he used a triplet. So, you know, and it's just that he did a tri an arpeggio with the triplet. You know, and the 
majority of it's chord tone, so it sounds strong to the to the chord. So I don't want to go too much over 10 minutes on these, but um, guided practice one, Ted Green, single note solo in number one, couple of licks on page 26. You know what I mean? Have fun with that. Um, say hello. Head over to the Patreon for the PDF. And uh, if you like this, let me know and I'll keep going with the, the coffee chops as long as people are enjoying them. And I'll try and uh, uh, get a roll on these guided practice things and uh, also Eric Clapton solos because we love them. And, you know, maybe some more Rory and all kinds of stuff. Keep it happening. Speak to you soon. Bye.